Here we are in the second. Give you scores from around the conference coming up next on the intermission report as Miller serves to Newton. Quick pass to the middle, and Moeller is dug by Sun. Left side. Roll shot down the line for Kubik. Purdue up one to Newton. Down the pipe. Dug by Sun again. Left side to Kubik again. That's a rejection. The blonde wall. That's Bush and Moeller, and Purdue leads 19-17. That ball was really tight to the net for Kubik, and one thing Dave stresses a lot is capitalizing on those tight balls, and that needs to be a block, and they were able to contribute right there. And now Blake comes out. Terwilliger to serve. Catino up at the net with Ellis and Bush. Good serve from Emma, nearly an ace. Purdue up 19-17. Left side to Kubik, dug by Terwilliger. Bush to the pipe. Tipped by Newton, diving dig, Haynes. Bumped out of system to Kubik, blocked by Bush. Diving dig, Skimmerhorn. Left side, Ellis off the Stimmerins, block it down. Everyone making plays, especially the underclassmen here tonight. It's 2017 Purdue. You just have to be pleased that you have subs that come in and make big plays like that. That's what every team needs. So Emma and Skimmerhorn are doing a great job. Terwilliger with a dig, Skimmerhorn with a dig, the freshman Ellis with the kill, Bush with a dig that point. <laughs> Purdue five points away from tying the matchup at one apiece. Serve from Terwilliger to Knuckles, left side, Cubic, deep, no touch, 21-17. John Cook is going to call a timeout here yeah. as the Boilermakers lead 21-17. Sun back out there in the back row with Miller and Haynes. Serving for Purdue, continuing this 3-0 run is Emma Terwilliger with Catino, Ellis, and Bush up at the net. Ellis has three kills, Catino has two, Haley has one. Serve to Knuckles, slide for Stiverins off the hands of Ellis and out of bounds. Yeah, you know coming from a timeout who the ball's going to, so Purdue needs to be ready for that next time. So what does their All-American middle do so well there on the slide? She just has a lot of range. She's very dynamic in her approach, so sometimes she gets past the outside hitters and she can just go wherever she wants. 21-18 Purdue. 21 was the number they were stuck on for a while in the first set. Ellis for a two ball for a termination in front of Kubik. And Emma Ellis' second kill of this previous rotation gives Purdue a 22-18 lead. They get over that 21 Exactly. Up. I was a little nervous when we got over that. So now it's just time to keep moving, for, moving, moving forward. Yeah, kick it into cruise control <laughs> as Bush serves. Right side, slide for Stiverin's line for the kill past Horna. And Mo pops up saying that was my fault. <laughs> Stiverin's will not serve for herself here. Haley Densberger yeah. will come in. The lone Nebraska native on this Huskers team. Densberger, two aces, six service errors on the season. Purdue 22-19 here in the second. Pass by Newton, a poor pass. Overpassed, actually. Joust, one by Catino, kept alive by Sun. To the pipe. Cubic's first pipe swing in a wild diving dig by Hornung, tipped over by Shivana. Left side, Sun, the block is there, but the libero is it. It's a kill down the seam for Lexi Sun. Her sixth makes it 22-20. Yes, aggr aggressive swing by Lexi. Mo was right there, but it's a little late and couldn't get her hand right underneath that ball. And now we'll see Jenna Otek come into front row to play defense for Emma Ellis. And we know that she has the possibility to take a swing as well. <laughs> yes, we She did. had two big rips, one of them for a kill yesterday. They said they've been practicing that for weeks, so happy they could finally implement it. Densberger to Otek. Good pass to the middle. Cleveland flings it to the back right corner, dug by Miller. Left side, Sun, high off the block. Popped up by Bush, and under the net goes Haley Bush. It's a point for Nebraska, and we're at 22-21. Nebraska. Sean, Sean Doe not happy with this call, because Haley Bush was lying under the net while Hornung saved the ball. Mm -hmm. And so that call mainly for safety. Exactly. Great play by Haley, but unfortunately, they just weren't able to turn it into a point. Same score as last set. Purdue yes. up 22-21. It's just a matter of executing and mm -hmm. finishing. Densberger to serve. Dipping one and an ace in front of Otek. And Haley Bush throws the ball in frustration, and we're tied at 22. So you bring in Jenna Otek for mm -hmm. back row purposes just to pass and then move to the front row. And back-to-back -back poor passes from her. And she gets pulled from serve receive here. They move Newton mm -hmm. in to pass off the serve with Hornung and Bush. Jeez. 22 all. Caitlin, good pass. Set left side. Otek with the swing. Goes over the hands, but it's dug by Miller. Left side. 
off high hands on the swing from new uh, from sun right side wow. cleveland then a flying flinging solo block by lexi sun and that's a web gem if i've ever seen yeah. one it's 23 22 and Shondell needs to call a timeout. That was just a good block by Lexi's son. She was some for some reason inside of the court too much, but she caught herself and went out and caught Grace, was in, unable to execute down that line. Final timeout of the set. We'll take a break and come back for the finish of this second set. A 5-0 scoring run here for the Huskers. As them up 23-22, another late run after Purdue looked like they had the set well in hand. The Huskers looking to take a 2-0 lead into the intermission if they could close this one out. Densberger continues to serve. Purdue still has Otek in the front row with Catino in Cleveland. Serve to Newton in service for Jenna. Set left side to Cleveland. Cross court and the kill past Densberger. And just like the first set, we're tied at 23 all. Yeah, so right now it's time for Purdue service back there to capitalize and try to put some heat on Nebraska passers. And then blockers at the net need to be ready for whatever comes their way. This feels like the most important point of the match. 23 all to see who can get set point. Mm -hmm. Newton in the front row with Cleveland and Catino as Otek serves to Cubic. Left side, Sun tips it, popped up over the net, sent over on one, back to Purdue. Left side, Newton cross court. Diving dig by Miller. Left side. Oh, Sun slips and falls, but still gets a free ball to Purdue. Right side. Tipped by Cleveland. Saved by Knuckles. Sent over on one by, excuse me, on two by Haynes. Back to Nebraska to the pipe. Cubic dug by Hornung. Tied at 23 here in the second. Left side. Newton down the seam. Dug by Cubic. Dumped again by Haynes. Easily gathered by Moe. Right side. Poor set to Cleveland. She's blocked. No, a pancake dig. It's sent over. They called it up. Right side. Schwarzenbach. Kept alive on a diving pass by Bush. Bumps left side to Newton. Off the block and down. And the Boilermakers win the point. Oh, Holy goodness. cow, what a pancake. You still Lex have breath for that. Goodness gracious. Lexi Sun lost her shoe in the process. And Purdue has set point 24-23. Great hustle at that net for blockers and the defense. They were everywhere. Their bodies were all on the floor throwing, giving it everything they had. Are you kidding me? Purdue with a pancake save of the match, possibly, and John Cook considering a challenge. He is challenging whether that ball was down, which I figured he would. Can you walk us through that yes. point for us, Aaron? I, I was listening to you. I was, I was getting busy. I'm surprised you still have your voice after that. That was a heck of a play, especially with the incident with Lexi's son's shoe being off. So thus, they didn't really have anybody offensively to go to, yet they were still able to be in the game. Haynes had three dumps, I believe, in yes. that point. Son still was able to get that ball over, exactly. even though she slipped to her knees. But Purdue unable to terminate over and mm -hmm. over again. And then finally at the right pin, Grace went from the left pin yes. to the middle to the right pin, <laughs> yes. all on the same point. And she went oh. seam for the kill. Cleveland's sixth point. kill stands. How about that? Whew. Now Otek to serve. Excuse me, it was Newton with the mm -hmm. kill, not, not Grace. And back-to-back -back Purdue points has them at set point. Otek's second serve in a row. Deep back left corner, pass by Cubic, a poor pass, bumped out of system by Knuckles, left side to Sun, off the hands of Catino, handled by Horna. Right side, Cleveland, blocked, oh, out of bounds, and Purdue wins the set. First time seeing these Baylor Bears in person. Aaron, what stands out to you so far about the number one team in the nation? They just play really hard. They're relentless after every single ball, and they're really good at covering. And also their energy. Vandermark brings a lot to this team with her energy. She's always cheering with her face, and her team is right there behind her. So I think that's really driving this Baylor team right now. Kara McGee comes in for the superstar middle, Shelly Stafford. Stafford's hitting yeah. 500. So is Vandermark. Seven and six kills, respectively, for them two as Stafford goes back to serve. Deep middle, Hornung with the pass, set left side, Caitlin Newton tips, diving dig though, that's Lachlan, out of system right side, Vandermark, what a dig by Otek, and it goes over the net, picked up by Presley, back set right side, Vandermark cross court, misses wide, and her first miss on that sharp cross has Purdue within two, 15-13. Ooh, that one was close, that was a really close hit by Vandermark. Marissa Hornung will go back to serve now, 22 aces on the season. 
28 aces last year. Pass by Bram Schreiber, left side, Presley off the block and out of bounds. And Yasiana takes four sets and turns him into beautiful dimes. Yes, that was a little awkward set by Locke, and it was very off the net, but Presley just came in flying and aimed for those blockers' hands without any fear. Lockin and Presley were the duo that broke the record for the first ever pair of freshman All-Americans two seasons wow. ago. Presley was named an All-American last year as well. We'll probably be on the first team this year after two <laughs> honorable mention nods. Left side, Caitlin Newton off the hands, dug by Wolf. Wolf has been small but big, 10 digs, but stuffed on the Presley swing. Moeller and Cleveland pull Purdue within two, and Yasiana Presley's now been stuffed two or three times. Yes, great read by Grace Cleveland setting up that block and staying on her inside as she loves to go that 5-6 zone. Now Cleveland will serve. Tops in the conference and aces per set. Cross court to Wolf. Lachlan bumps it left side. Presley cross court misses wide and goes into the net. And it's 16-15. And if I told you that after a set and a half, Yasiana Presley would be 6-5-17, you'd probably think Purdue's dominating, right? Oh, exactly, yeah. But hey, they're still in this game, so that's always good, too. Now, undoubtedly in this set. 16-15, diving pass off the serve from Cleveland. Left side, Presley, and she hangs and dominates. Yes. Yasiana Presley against Marquette in a sweep. 20 kills on 45 swings with no errors. Had 31 kills against Wisconsin and Texas each. Ooh, her arm. I just look up her arm. <laughs> That's a lot of swings, but a lot of consistency as well. 12 wins against NCAA tournament teams this season. Six against ranked foes for Baylor. Back row attack by Cleveland. Dug by Wolf. Bumped out of system by Presley. Left side. Milana sends a free ball. Otex there. Slide to Moeller. Line for the kill. Blake Moeller once again has arisen from a little bit of slumber from that first set and has a quick four yes. kills here in the second, 17-16 Baylor. Blake just sneaks it by that outside hand, Gianna Milano, who closes her eyes as she's walking, just like hoping it touches her. Caitlin Newton, junior from Terre Haute, serves into the net. Miss hits that one, and it's 18-16 on Purdue's fourth service error, first of the set, as Shelly Stafford comes back in for McGee. Who just needs to get another quick side out? No worries at all. They're still in this game and just get this quick little side out. The one thing that stood out to the Purdue coaching is that Baylor couldn't get it to their middles if they didn't pass well. But mm -hmm. today they've been passing beautifully. Speaking of, a great back row swing by Newton off of a perfect serve received by Skimmerhorn. <laughs> and Caitlin's got Purdue within one again, 18-17. The Boilers won't budge. No, it was funny seeing the cheerleaders from Baylor's reaction too. They all kind of jumped in like, whoa, she hit that ball kind of hard. Kind of hard, yeah. <laughs> Caitlin's ninth kill. Match high so far. Terwilliger serves. Johnson back in an ace for Emma Terwilliger. Ties it up at 18. And we, we talked about it pregame. Just about Emma Terwilliger and her role just to come in and dominate from that service line. I've been betting on Emma Terwilliger, hoping she'd have a breakout season. And this postseason has been fantastic. Serve to Milano. Right side, back row. Presley stopped. Johnson throws the hands in the air along with Emma Ellis. And look at that. Yeah. Purdue leads 19-18. <laughs> and that's something Presley is not used to. If you looked at her face, she said, wait a minute. What, what just happened there? <laughs> that is the fifth time that Yasiana Presley has been stuffed here in this match. Purdue's on a 3-0 run. Timeout called by Ryan McGuire. And so the, the easy way of saying this one's back in it is the serve receive. Yes. But what else has stepped up for Purdue? Purdue blocks, as we just saw right there, they're reading so much better. And even if they're not getting straight blocks and stuff, they're getting good touches, allowing the defense to transition that and maybe make a point out of it. 